Hi, welcome to another day of Reader's Workshop. I'm so proud of the, all the story maps that I saw uploaded to Google Classroom yesterday. Beautiful job because that really shows that you understood the fairy tale, The Little Red Riding Hood. I wanna start off today by going over the story map that we did yesterday. So if you did it, please go and get it and check it with mine. Let's go over it. If you didn't do it yet, replay yesterday's lesson, Monday's lesson, listen to The Little Red Riding Hood and create a story map. Okay, let's start with the characters. Characters, The Little Red Riding Hood, Grandma, Wolf. Notice how I have pictures and labels. If you just listed the characters with no pictures, that's okay. The setting. Remember, stories can have more than one setting. Grandma's house is the main setting of The Little Red Riding Hood. Again, I have a picture and I have a label. If you included the forest in this box as well, that's okay because it took place there a little bit also. Problem, what was the trouble in this story? The trouble, hmm. Well, it started off when Little Red Riding Hood told the wolf where she was going. Do you agree that's where the trouble started? More trouble, the wolf ate up grandma and Little Red Riding Hood. I put LRR there to stand for Little Red Riding Hood. Thumbs up if you agree with me, if you have something like this as your problem. If it doesn't say exactly this, that's okay. If, it, if it's like this, then leave it. Solution, how did the problem get solved? Well, another character, the woodcutter, came to the rescue. Do you remember that? The woodcutter picked up the wolf and shook him. And then Little Red Riding Hood and Grandma came out. Then the woodcutter, Grandma, and Little Red Riding Hood chased the wolf away and the wolf never came back. Thumbs up if you had something like that as your solution. Beautiful. Lesson, what did the author want us to learn? One of the lessons that we could take away from this story is not to talk to strangers. And I think Little Red Riding Hood learned that at the end of the story. She even said she was not gonna talk to strangers again. So if she didn't talk to the strangers, if she didn't tell the wolf where she was going, maybe the wolf wouldn't have hurt them. So that was a lesson that you could take from this story. Okay, great work, boys and girls. We will continue with story maps this week. But today I wanna to teach you something different. I wanna teach you about character traits today. Readers can use character traits to describe and understand characters. What are character traits? Character traits are words that describe and help us understand a character. So like adjectives, describing words. When you're reading to describe characters, think about what the character says in the story. Think about what the character does. Think about what they're thinking and think about how they're feeling. Here are some examples of character or even words to describe people, maybe to describe me and you. So these words are examples of character traits. I have a sort here. Little Red Riding Hood and the wolf. In this word bank are words that describe Little Red Riding Hood and words that describe the wolf. I wanna go through each of these words with you. Let's sort two of them together and then you're gonna do the rest on your own. First, let's go over all the words really quickly. Caring. Caring means that you are kind, you do things for people. Friendly means you talk to people. Cruel. Cruel is a big vocabulary word that you might not know what it means. Cruel means to, if, uh, to cause pain to others. Cruel means to cause pain to others. So it's not a good trait. It's a negative trait, not a positive trait. Caring and friendly are positive traits to have. Okay, so I'm gonna put that one up here so we remember. Evil, evil means bad. Not good, that's not a positive trait either. Sneaky, sneaky means to be secretive. Gullible, that's a word you might not know what it means. Gullible means that you easily believe something. You easily believe something without thinking it through. Okay, so 
So that's a word that I'll leave up here too, okay? So gullible means that you easily believe something. That might not be a good choice, okay? Sweet, that means you're kind. Happy, we know what happy means. So these words describe either Little Red Riding Hood or the wolf. Caring, hmm, I think, what do you guys think actually? Who do you think caring describes? Little Red Riding Hood or the wolf? Turn and tell a stuffed animal or a family member. You're right. Little Red Riding Hood is caring. Little Red Riding Hood is caring because she, oops, she goes to visit, she goes to bring food to her grandma because her grandma wasn't feeling well. Do you agree? Very good. Hmm. There's that word cruel that just fell. Cruel causes pain to others. Do you think Little Red Riding Hood's cruel? I think the wolf is cruel. Does the wolf cause pain to others? Turn and tell a stuffed animal or a family member why the wolf might be cruel. Very good. The wolf is cruel because he causes pain to Little Red Riding Hood and the grandma. He eats them. That's why he's cruel. Do you agree? Very good. I think you guys can take this from here. Your independent reading work today is to take out a notebook or a piece of paper, make a T-chart like this. So write Little Red Riding Hood on one side, write the wolf on the other side. Then finish, you can include these words, caring and cruel, but then finish sorting all of these words to describe Little Red Riding Hood or the wolf. Then take a picture of your T-chart and post it to Google Classroom or send it to us through Class Dojo. Your next part of the assignment is to write two sentences. Your first part is to write, make your T-chart up here, what I just explained. Number two, write one sentence for each character using a character trait and give one reason. Here's an example. Little Red Riding Hood is caring, which is a character trait, because, here's my reason, because she brings food to her grandma. That's caring. So please try to use your smart brains and come up with a sentence on your own and don't use the same one because I know you guys can do this on your own. So that will be one sentence and then your next sentence will be about the wolf. The wolf is, use a trait to describe the wolf, because, and then give a reason. Again, upload a picture of this to Google Classroom or send through Class Dojo. Thank you so much for listening and I can't wait to see your work on your character traits. Please let us know if you have any questions. Bye, see you guys tomorrow.